Sunglasses, damn it. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Garden Sound 365. This is the show where I write a song every day for a year. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't seen last Sunday's video, on Sundays we do something here called Style Guide, which is where I guide us through uh, someone's style and we do attempt to make a song similar to theirs. Last week we covered Bruno Mars, both 24 Karat Magic and Uptown Funk. If you haven't heard either of those songs, I, it must be difficult living under a rock. But, uh, you know, familiarize yourself with that music, it's very good. We went over how those two songs work, how to create songs that sound like that, and then we created one that was our own. It's a pretty good song. It's actually one of my more popular songs. Uh, it's, it's gone up so far on YouTube, so, yeah. Fill everybody in on the status of the channel. So we've got around 155 subscribers as of this video, um, which is way more than I expected to have at this point. But to everybody watching this that is subscribed to the channel, thank you. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, but you've been watching my videos, please hit that subscribe button, um, either at the very bottom of your uh, window there where the video is playing, or at the very end of this video, there will be a chance to click the subscribe button. Please do. We've got almost 10,000 views total since we started the project, which is ridiculous. That's a lot of people clicking on my videos and watching those. Um, I mean, that's 10,000 clicks. I'm, you know, that's a blessing. Thank you. There's some big transitions coming up um, in my life that are going to affect the way this channel works for the good, right? For the better. So there's some changes coming up um, in December and especially in January that are really gonna change how this channel runs um, and, and they're good things. And so I'm very excited about where that's, where that's gonna be, uh, where, we're, where, where we're gonna be in a couple of months. Uh, and it's, um, it's in your best interest for me to just kinda keep that to myself. So I will reveal more information about that once uh, November and December roll around, but it's just too early right now. I'm still pushing hard, still trying to get these videos out. You know, if you're, if you're down to help out the cause and share with a friend and have other people subscribe, I'd really appreciate the help. We're, we're looking for every subscriber and every view we can get at this point. If there's anything you think I can do to make this channel more watchable, more clickable, please let me know in the comments down below. I read every comment. I respond to almost every single one of them too. So if you comment on this video, don't think that nobody's gonna read it, I'll read it. I get a notification on my phone, I get a notification in my email, I will read your comments, I guarantee it. So let's just jump into it right now. So I teased this a little bit earlier in the week on my Facebook page. If you're not um, subscribed on the Facebook page, if you don't get updates on that, that's where I sort of announce what the plans are for the week. If you want more inside information, if you want to see these videos as they're published when they come out on Facebook, um, I have my own Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash garden sound. I teased earlier this week that I was going to be looking at Shelter, which is a song that was primarily written by Porter Robinson uh, with some help from Medeon who is a, uh, or Madeon, if you prefer to say it that way. He's a French um, producer. And then Porter Robinson, um, of course, based in the US, he is um, a producer as well. Now, they teamed up with an animation studio in Japan to actually turn this song into a whole work of art, a whole animated work of art. And if you would like to see that video, I've included a link in the description down below to go check that out. I'm going to be focusing on the music behind the video, not necessarily the animation and not the lyrics because animation, lyrics, not my thing. Music, definitely my thing. Let's take a quick listen. Okay. And that's basically the song. It repeats several different sections, but there's really only, I'd say, two major parts to this song. You have the A section, which is the, um, arguably, the A section is that anti-drop. I'm gonna call it an anti-drop because it's not really a bass drop like traditional EDM has in it, like Flux Pavilion or, um, you know, something like um, Excision where you have build up, build up, build up, build up, bass drop. That doesn't really exist here. What we've got is this anti-drop. It's, it's climactic, right? So we've got things leading up to a point, but then there's the idea of just kind of letting it ride from there out. 
similar almost to trance from the late late 90s, early 2000s, something you expect from Armin Van Buren or Tiesto. There's some important things going on in here though. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of negative space. I don't mean negative in a negative way, no pun intended. I mean negative in absence of filler. So let's, let's, I'm gonna do a little bit of hand motions that are gonna be similar to conducting, and I hope that animates the space I'm talking about. So I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Okay, so the sections where I went like that, there's an absence of activity during there. There's some sounds going on, so you have a couple different layers. Let me play it back, we'll listen to it again. So we've got drums that are light, um, there's definitely a heavier kick uh, going on, not really focusing on a bass synthesizer. Um, there might be a large pad behind there, it sounds like a Poly 6, um, like a larger Korg or Roland synthesizer, right, kind of filling in the background. Um, and then there's some sort of a trap snare thing going on with a um, happening, and then there's also a, a clipped up vocal sample. I'm not really sure what the clip is. It, I think it's supposed to be a lyrical, like it's not supposed to be something to focus on for lyrical content. I think it's just supposed to be a filler that sounds like a voice. Kind of Porter Robinson style, and it's, it's in vogue right now. Um, DJ Snake, uh, Diplo, Skrillex, um, Porter Robinson himself in different tracks, like Sad Machine, for instance, if you've ever heard that track. Um, some of Matty On's earlier stuff. You, you get those sampled vocal chops. It really wasn't made popular until Summit by Skrillex in 2012? December 24th, 2011. Barely missed it. Almost 2012. Those chopped up vocals. So he really popularized that, and then people have just sort of run with it from there. Now, I think it's well used in Shelter. And that's sort of the line that the whole song follows. So it's less of an effect and more of a central focus. So instead of having the vocals add to what's going on in the song, that is the focus of the song. And you can tell that's the focus of the song because that's how it starts. They don't hide behind um, heavy, heavily processed drums like Skrillex's song Summit does. But the point of the chopped up vocals in that song is more of an effect and less of a focus. Here it's a focus. I mean literally, the first three seconds of the song of Shelter is all chopped up. That was the first three seconds. Bunch of chopped up samples. Um, so. Making those is not something I'm very good at, but we're gonna try anyway. I have a very good screen sharing application for recording the screen, so this is the best I got right now, unfortunately. See, here we go, we got zero on the times. Here we go. Let's see how long this takes me. All right. Okay. All right, yeah, I think that'll work just fine. So let's get it on. All right, so once we've got these pads put in, which I do, uh, we're gonna get some drums in there and we're going to side chain the um, pads to the kick drum. So let's do that next. Headphones in, microphone on. This is gonna sound weird because you all can't hear the audio in my head. 
da 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 We're gonna drop this clip into Simpler, which is an instrument in Ableton. Da 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 We need some lyrics. And when it came, we wanted more. Nothing's ever good enough to take you out. Hour and four minutes. So, I'm gonna send it through my mastering suite and upload it. So let's review. What were the key components that make up the song? Vocal chops. Space, we went over space and how important that is. There's a pad in the background holding down some really nice, crunchy um, major chords, uh, very simple harmonic patterns, um, repetitive, and four on the floor beats, that nice side chain on the synthesizer that we put into place here. Um, that's pretty much it. Keep it happy, keep it at 100 BPM. Use a lot of space, a lot of reverb, um, you know, to keep that mix really wet with the reverb. And and yeah, I mean, that's basically it. So uh, let me know in the comments down below if this was helpful. The project file is going to be in the uh, description. So feel free to open up the project file and take a look at it. Let me know if I did something weird or if you want to tweak it around and make your own remix, go ahead. Um, quick shout out and thank you to everybody who's been uh, naming the songs and the music playlist. If it says needs title, I need a title for it. Just leave a comment on the track that doesn't contain any hate speech or profanity and I will make that the name, whatever it is. Uh, don't be gross. Nothing your mom wouldn't be, you know, don't, don't do anything your mom wouldn't be proud of. Thanks for tuning in. As always, Fresh Beats, this song in the link below. Check it out. Peace.